one, two. Is it possible to turn these lights down a little bit or change the color? And then Gary, am I on out there? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. All right, what's happening, y'all? That is much better. We're, we're making a point to start before 630 because yes. we really want to start as close to 6 as we can. Uh-oh, Joe's in the house. That's right. Now we can play. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you all for coming. All right, we'll talk to you all a little bit as we go. We're just going to get started.
Thanks, y'all. y'all we can do it we, we got we got some people at six o'clock y'all kept telling me y'all wanted early shows so we're gonna do it if y'all keep coming we're gonna keep doing it this is grown folks time so let me just say something about that tune real quick that was a tune. actually that one's called play it back yes and that is a tune by the great the late great dr lonnie smith and that's right you can applaud for dr lonnie smith yes I got, I got to play with him a good bit, and I actually got to bring him on a five-day tour with uh, Will Bernard, and it was pretty spectacular to get to hang with him, play with him, hear his stories. But my point is, if you're not aware of Dr. Alani Smith yet, that's okay. I'm envious of you because you now have a new favorite musician, and you have a whole bunch of records to listen to that are going to really excite you and blow your mind. So his whole period from like 1968 to about 1974 has some of the funkiest grooves and funkiest drumming. Idris Muhammad, who is from here, played with him. Huge influence on me. So once you start listening to Dr. Lonnie Smith, you're going to be like, ah, that's where he stole that from. <laughs> so the whole point of doing this gig is to have fun and to also pay homage to some of the history of the organ trio and play some of our tunes play some of uh, the tunes from records we've made, play some tunes from our heroes. But uh, Dr. Lonnie Smith was definitely one of our big, big, big heroes. And uh, so, you know, I don't want to talk too much, but I, I like telling y'all a little bit about why we're doing this organ trio and why this, this format is so important to us. And uh, so, cool, we're going to keep playing for y'all. I want to <laughs> add something to that, too. I don't even know if either of y'all know this. Lonnie Smith, who he was just talking about, I have technically only ever had one lesson on the Hammond organ, and it was from Dr. Lonnie Smith. <laughs> I've taken other, less, other types of organ lessons, but this specific thing, I was 15 years old at the Vail Jazz Festival. This, like, totally green, you know, new-on-the-scene kid, and I asked him, I don't remember what the question was, but a really simple question after his set. 
And the next thing I knew, he had given me an hour and a half of his time for free and shared yeah. all this knowledge with me. So yeah. I have to thank him. I never got to thank him as an adult and show him what I learned <laughs> after I met him. Beautiful, man. That's a beautiful story. So next we're going to play a song by Robert Walter, the great organ player that Stanton recorded with him, and this one's called Maple Plank.
Chris Atkins, y'all. How about a hand for Chris Adkins on the guitar? You can catch him regularly with the legendary George Porter Jr. As well as around town and around the country with everybody. But he just got most of this material, due to me of course, on Sunday night. He learned all this stuff in three days. So give him a, he did his homework, <laughs> nailing it. Actually, less than three days, because you were out of town. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, this is what a, a top-level musician is capable of with short notice. Fantastic. And as, as Joe was saying, Chris plays regularly with George Porter Jr. So I've gotten to play with Chris a few times on some of the George-led tributes that we've done to like Alan Toussaint, Dr. John, Fats Domino, and uh, Huey Piano Smith, and the list goes on and on. And Chris always shows up correct, always knows all the stuff ahead of time. So, uh, so we really appreciate Chris getting all this stuff together. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Chris. Want to do a Krasno More project? Yeah. All right. So if you were here last week, and I see many of you were here last week, so thanks for coming back. Thanks for telling your friends. We have um, a few different projects worth of material represented on stage, and one of the newer ones is Stanton's project with Eric Krasno called the Krasno More Project. So we're we going to do one of the songs off their new record called Book of Queens. That's the name of the record. So this tune that we're going to do is by an artist. The, the Book of Queens record is a record that we did in tribute to, to female artists, all women musicians and songwriters and vocalists. And this tune that we're about to do is a tune by an artist that we actually got to play with a good bit. Kraz got to play with a whole lot. I got to play with a little bit, but we lost her way too soon. This is a tune called Nobody's Baby by the great Sharon Jones.
Nobody's Baby by Sharon Jones. Also, just a friendly PSA for those of you who can't see in the back. I'm not just, I'm not dancing up here. I'm playing the bass with my feet. <laughs> my feet are the bass player. So on that note, you are definitely encouraged and welcome to take pictures and record. Tag us, post us on social media, but please keep your light off because I totally lose my place when those go on. So thank you for that. <laughs> it's a lot to think about at once. That's right. Joe's doing the job of two, sometimes three people. Yeah. <laughs> Melody, chords, bass in the feet. Beautiful. So on that note, we're going to do a song that we, that we didn't do last week. We're going to do one of Joe's originals. Is that cool? It is. All right, cool. And uh, yeah, this is, you'll figure out what this is called. But I'd like to think that this is in slight tribute to the artist that we covered in the first song. Mm. I think that works. <laughs> it's got many meanings. Part of it is <laughs> Dr. Lonnie Smith, and the other part is being a hypochondriac. <laughs> Which you'll get it when I say the lyrics. It's the only song I've ever written with one line of lyrics, so here we go. Oh, and, and if you know it, please say the lyrics with us. It's, it's, a, it's a community song. <laughs> you'll hear it. You'll know it. You'll hear it. I can't play this one on the pedal. <laughs> oh, yeah? No. Well, I, I will later, but not this part. May I have more low end in the monitors, please?
to get that shit checked out. Yeah, you're right. Does anyone know the title of that song? Yeah, I, um, I have a history of uh, hypochondria and running to the hospital for things that aren't real. So I would, it just, when I wrote that song, it just became a meme with friends that I would ask them, like, hey, I'm feeling this way. Am I going to die? And the answer would always start with, well, I'm not a doctor, but. Yes, but probably not now and from the thing you're worried about. I like it. All right, we're going to play another one of mine. Wait, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Mind fuck? Mind fuck? Or you want to save it? Okay, we're going to save that one. We're going to bring it back. It's going to come back later. All right, what do you think? Yeah? All right, we changed our mind. See, that's even more true to the name of the song. This one is called, well, the radio friendly title is The Fake Out. And we just did that to y'all, but not on purpose. The real title is The Mind Fuck. We're about to play that. What do you want? Is that? What do you want? I'll count it, yeah. Right there? Thank you. 
All right. We made it. That tune got called the mind fuck because somebody invariably goes, oh, fuck, in the middle of the tune. And I don't think we had one of those, did we? I think we made it, 100%. Uh, also, is, uh, is Gary nearby? I need some help up here. Thank you. Thank you all for being here for the happy organ hour. I made this organ a little too happy right now, and I need some, some assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can just get help with the pedals first. All right, the pedals keep um, yeah, like know, fucking up on me, and I was just need to do this. Yeah. So also we can do that. We can. Yeah. And if you have any more powerful tunes, we can bring you back up. Yeah. Because specifically, like the two thirty or seven. Yeah, that will help. Let's try that. That actually might be cool. We are Taku. Thanks for coming out, my man. All right, we're going to play a shuffle right now. And we're going to do one more after that and take a little short break. But uh, I said this last week, but I'll say it again this week. It's, uh, it's really cool, and, I, and I'm showing you all a heartfelt sense of gratitude. And we feel that it's really cool that you all came out and are coming out at 6 o'clock. We kept hearing from a lot of our friends and a lot of the music fans that y'all wanted shows earlier. So I was like, all right, let's yeah. do it. So y'all are feels, showing us. It feels really good to try it, <coughs> to try it out and have y'all show up. My throat. Yeah, y'all are showing up. And we're gonna keep showing up. We already confirmed April. We're gonna be back in April. As well for the first three Wednesdays in April, then Jazz Fest. We're, we're not going to be here the Wednesday of Jazz Fest, but we'll be back right after that. Um, so please keep showing up. Tell your friends. Also, for out of town people, we are on YouTube live right now. Hi, Dad. Everybody say hi, Dad. <laughs> he's, he's sick at home with COVID right now, and he's watching. Well, he doesn't live in New Orleans, so he couldn't be here anyway, but uh, he's probably watching right now if he's not sleeping. So thanks, y'all, for being here. We, we couldn't do this without y'all. You're giving us the energy we need. Thank you. All right. Uh, which one? You want to do... Uh, yeah, yeah. You know that one? Did you check that one out? The James Black? Yeah. That's... I just want to make sure. I'm bad with titles. We'll just vamp on it first to set it up. Stanton has one of the best shuffles I've ever played with, so we're going to... We're going to feature, feature him on the shuffle on this tune by James Black.
not having any fun up here. I think we're going to take a short pause right now and come back for a whole second set of music. Y'all down with that? Stick around. All right, text your friends, tell them come out. We'll be going until 9 o'clock. That is Joe Ashlar. That's me. That is Chris Atkins on the guitar, sounding so beautiful, don't you agree? Stanton Moore on the drums. Thank y'all so much. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you.
Let's see. That's what I usually play. Okay. Which That's one? Awesome. You want to play the melody? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. So also he's in G. Okay. At some point he wants to do Radiohead Creep. It's just a rock ballad. Yeah. It's super simple. I'd love to do that. Yeah. And you do those hits. Spot up. Spot that thing. Yeah. Oh, do you do you want to start with pie eyed? Yes. Let's do that. That's a stronger. All right, y'all. Welcome to set two. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for sticking around. All right, we're going to play another tune written by Robert Walter. I know I said it last week, but I'm going to keep saying it because I'm proud of him. Robert Walter spent two years touring with Roger Waters. And, uh, you know, Robert Walter has spent his life getting his name mixed up with Roger Waters. So I hope that while Robert was on the tour with Roger Waters for two years, somebody called Roger Waters Robert Walter at least once. <laughs> I hope. We're going to play a tune that uh, he wrote and I contributed to a little bit. That's on one of my records uh, called Groove Alchemy. This, this tune is called Pie-Eyed Mank. It's a fun tune, and we're going to do this one right now. Check it out.
Pie-Eyed Mank by Robert Walter. That's right, man. And I'm, I'm going to give both of y'all props. That, that tune is really challenging to play rhythmically. It starts in weird places and stuff. And so much so that when Robert Walter himself showed it to me, I was like, wait a minute. So let me just play a simple beat, and then you play that to me because I can't find where you are. <laughs> and so Joe Ashlar is the only other person other than Robert Walter who makes that feel the way it should feel. And, and Chris Atkins, I have you ever played that song before? Maybe once. A, years ago. Maybe once years ago. And so Chris, uh, Chris Atkins just did an incredible job yeah. playing it through with no rehearsal. Y'all yeah, yeah. are watching the rehearsal. Yeah, every week we're going to be, uh, Stanton I think has talked about this a little bit, we're going to be bringing in different guitar players, all, um, all top level um, musicians all very different stylistically. So every week is going to be something a little different. Chris Adkins this week. We had Danny Abel last week. We're going to have uh, Ari Title next week. Um, and then next month it's going to probably be a rotation of the same guys. And uh, Stanton's going to be on most of them. Every once in a while we'll have some different drummers playing too. And I should be here for most of them too. So y'all should be here for most of them too. <laughs> and we're going to play some more music. All right, right now we're going to do another tune off of the Book of Queens record. This is a tune by an artist by the name of Her. And this is our take on her tune, Carried Away. And if we've got any drummers in the house, you'll recognize or you'll understand why this is a really fun tune for me to play.
All right. That was carried away by her. All right, we're going to change it up. This one we did not write, and I think you'll be able to figure out who wrote it. Y'all should recognize this one. And if we had written this one, we probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> but we love to play music, so we, we probably would still be here.
Like I said, we did not write that. But we played the shit out of it. For those who didn't catch it, it's Creep by Radiohead.
Lincoln. indeed what a band that is Stanton Moore on the drums he also wrote that song it is called Sprung Monkey
And it's on one of his trio records. You want to give him a... Oh, thank you, brother. What's that? Don't do it or do do it? Um, okay, cool. I'm going to invite right now my drum tech of 20 years to come up and play for y'all. And uh, I can't do what I do without him. And people ask me, how do you play, like, over 20 gigs during Jazz Fest? And the answer is because I got this guy running three steps in front of me and two steps behind me. So I'm going to let him play. So please welcome to the stage Adam Kelly. Adam Kelly, everyone, show him some love. Give him a hug. This is another song by the uh, great Dr. Lonnie Smith that we mentioned earlier in the night. This one is called The Love Bowl.
Adam Kelly. Exactly how it went at the rehearsal. Adam Kelly sitting in on the drums. Show him some love. All right. Thank you all so much for coming to hear us. And we are going to play one more tune, and then we're going to see you all next week. And please tell your friends, please come back. And this has been so fun, man. This is Kicks. I hope that y'all are enjoying this as much as we are. Once again, please put your hands together for Mr. Chris Atkins. Sounding so beautiful, don't you agree? And that's Joe Ashlar over there on the organ. Thank you. And he's kicking the bass with his feet. Not to sound freaky or anything, but if you haven't come and checked out Joe's feet, come check them out. That's okay. You can sound freaky. I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's called the happy organ hour after all. Stanton Moore on the drums, everyone. We're going to play a tune. Yet to be determined. <laughs> See, we're on the same page all the time. All right. So keep in mind, if y'all ask for one more when we get done with this one, this is the one more. This is the encore portion of the evening. And then uh, this tune again is by Robert Walter. And Robert's going to be here for Jazz Fest, and we'll be doing some gigs. Joe Ashlar is going to be doing some gigs with Krasno Moore Project. Yes, yeah. indeed. Right. So, thank y'all so much, and uh, we're going to play this last tune, and this is the last one. This is the encore. Yeah, so thank y'all for being here. If y'all want to hear more, come next week. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah, y'all can take pictures of my feet. Just don't turn the flash on. You have permission to, yeah, just, uh, just make sure you send them to me so I can put them on my OnlyFans.
bones. Yeah. Who said that? I was yeah. Like, who was oh no, the, the little red one is is, is okay. Yeah. I, I heard it all. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's. I didn't know you could turn that one off, but no, it was about the the foam. I heard the red one. Thank you. Yeah, but the foam ones didn't. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Here goes. Yeah. Here we go. Hot liquor.
great. Stanton Moore on the drums. Chris Atkins on the guitar. My name is Joe Ashlar, and this is the Happy Organ Hour. We'll see y'all next week. Thanks. Next week, yes, six indeed. to nine. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>